Okay, for you absolute novice out there, what I'm going to do is quickly show you a few things how we can find out some system information about our Raspberry Pi. One of the first things we're going to want to know is um, what the name of our server is called. We can see it here once logged in that um, we have the user here, Pi, and at and then that Raspberry, um, Pi is the name of the actual um, server name, the computer name. You can also check this by typing hostname and it will print the screen the name of our server. We may also want to know what the system's date and time is. This can be very useful for any services that rely on that. And we can simply write uh, the command date and that will show us the day, the date and the time um, and the time zone which is also very important um, that we are, um, that it currently is. One thing that we may want to know is our IP address because these Raspberry Pis come with a DHCP enabled by default our upstream router is most likely going to have assigned the Raspberry Pi an IP address so if we want to know what this is we can run the command ifconfig and we will see here two bits of information hello for our local loopback adapter and then eth0 for our um, RJ45 port on our Raspberry Pi. We can see here uh, the IP address has been signed to that um, network port. We can see the subnet mask that's been assigned to that um, interface and we can see the MAC address, uh, the phys uh, actual hardware MAC address um, of that um, Ethernet port. We may also need to know what our default gateway is. Default gateway will be our um, upstream router or a firewall. If we run the command netstat, it will give us um, network information, and then rn will give us our routing table. We can see here that the 000 denotes um, anything, so anything in the world, and um, that would be, for example, the internet, and our default gateway here is what my, um, my upstream router is, and that was how you find what your default gateway is. Obviously, if we're going on the internet, we want to look up something, for example, like um, a, a, a website like Google, we're going to need to have some name servers. One of the ways we can do this is we can run the command more and uh, we will look for a file in slash etc. slash resolve.conf. We'll learn a little bit more about how we use the more command and how we browse around the um, file structure a little bit later in this video. But for now, just simply run that command and hit enter, and it will tell us that we're using two name servers that have been given to us via DHCP, um, 8.8.8.8, 4.2.2.2, and they are the two name servers that will be used for DNS resolution. One of the next useful things we may want to know is how much disk space we have. We can run the command df. I often will use this switch. Switch is when we add an extra parameter at the end of a command and I use minus H which stands for human readable format which means it's in kilobits, uh, megabits, megabyte, gigabits to make it easier for us to read instead of just in byte format. We can see here uh, how the drive is being um, broken down and we can see that um, how much space we have available, how much it is in total and how much user used has been used in that particular instance. So this is the information. You can see that in our root partition we have um, 2 gig which is the size of the image that you would have pulled down from Debian and at the moment that we've used uh, about 80% of that. Um, in this instance I've got a 16 um, gigabyte SD card so in a later video I'm going to show how we'll utilize and expand um, this um, operating system into that full 16 gigabyte but I'll do that in a later video. One of the last things we may want to know is how much information in terms of CPU and memory utilization that our system is using. Um, very much like in Windows, we have Task Manager. In Linux, we have a command called top, which when we run on the top hand at the top here, it will show us um, how many CPUs we've got, which obviously on the Pi is only one. It will show us how much um, system uh, is being used by user processes, system processes. Um, it will tell us um, how much memory there is in use, and how much uh, memory we have in total, how much is being used, how much is free, 
um, and a bit more information. This is something that I would I'd recommend reading up on in a bit more detail. Below here we have all the processes, all the services that are currently running for the system. Again, this needs a bit more reading up on its own time. You can tell though on certain services how much CPU in this column here and how much memory is being used up by each of those services. And you can also see on the far left hand side here what the process ID, each service is given a unique ID and uh, that's how we identify each service.